Hello, I'm Lois Letchford, author of the book Reverse to Memoir and sharing stories of scientists who changed the world from the book Eureka. And today we have another woman, Ada Lovelace. 1815 she was born and died in 1852. The poet's daughter who became a mathematician and devised what's arguably the first computer program. Although for some while she kept it dark about it, Ada Lovelace was the daughter of the poet Byron. Byron was married to Ada's mother, Anne Isabel Milbank, but only for about a year before they separated. Ada was born a few weeks prior to the separation and never knew her father, who had died in Greek, just Greece just before she was eight. Her mother determined Ada should be anything but her, a poet, schooled her rigorously in maths, a subject in which Ada wasn't then much interested. She enjoyed geography. However, when she was 18, she met the mathematician Charles Baggage, Babbage, who was trying to build what we now recognise as the first computer. She realised the potential of the idea and suddenly the math that seemed so tedious became far more interesting. The following year Ada married William King who in 1838 became the first Earl of Lovelace and was himself enough of a scientist to be elected to the Royal Society in 1841. Everyone agreed Ada had a brilliant mind. She was mentored by Mary Somerville, the extraordinary polymath who, in an age when women were generally barred by social pressures from the scientists, showed what nonsense that was by educating herself to rival the menfolk. In 1835, Somerville became one of the first two women to be admitted to the members of Royal Astronomical Society. Among Ada Lovelace's acquaintance was Charles Dickens and the scientist Charles Wheatstone, Michael Faraday and Augusta de Morgan. Unfortunately, she didn't have significant scientific training at the day. It was not available for women. And you can read more about her because her life ties with the Babbage and it goes on to say Lovelace was only 36 when she died. Her later years became a quicksand of alcoholism and gambling. She devised this mathematical system, you see, of, and depression, bearing in mind Victorian England's ruthless suppression of female scientific ambitions. It may seem unsurprising to us that the extremely gifted Ada Lovelace acted in this way. So life is a challenge for women. It was back then. I think things have changed for the better. But women face many more challenges. So find out more about Ada Lovelace and all she did with math mathematics and writing the first computer program. Thank you. Hit like, hit subscribe and find out more about these people who changed the world.